Well, after experiencing Half-Life, I must now check out Lone Echo. There are so many games that I want to play, and I want to welcome all of you for joining me. Oh my goodness, everybody's just so welcoming. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you so much for the suggestions and tips. There's so many games to experience. But first, let's start to experience Lone Echo. Wow. I like the music already. I like this kind of music. Oh, oh cool. Wow, man, we got the expanse of everything here. This is neat. I didn't know that this thing had a multiplayer. Oh, it's no longer part of Lone Echo. Well, this is an old game, so I guess that makes sense. That's okay though, story, story mode is what we're wanting to do. Settings, let me double check. Uh, does it have graphic settings? Resolution. Oh, there's where you up the resolution. Okay, everything's on, everything's maxed out, so we should be good then. Before we jump into the game, I just want to appreciate this title screen. The buttons, you can tell, are somewhat floating. Uh, actually, all the displays here looks... Oh my goodness! Hey, look, I got arms! <laughs> this is my robot arms or something! This is cool! Because I hear you're supposed to play as a robot in this game. Anyway, I can tell that the buttons are 3D, just barely off of the page, and then you've got Lone Echo kind of in the back uh, on the same plane, well, almost the same plane as some of these back pluses. Because these pluses do graduate up toward me. Here we go. Oh, cool. Is that who made the game, or is that just... Okay, yeah, yeah. Terra, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. <laughs> okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 21, 26. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind. And making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. <laughs> I've been told that I play as this robot. Oh, whoa. Oh gosh, I didn't expect this though. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, see, look, there's a robot. And here's anyway, our robot. Oh my goodness. mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are dude. a bit lower than I Can thought. I just, oh, I don't think I can move it. We had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack dude. managed. Oh, Jack. Hey, oh, I'm Jack, that's right, yeah. Hold on a tick. I'm including Terror, a little bit on this game. Acknowledged, Captain oh, dude. Morning, sunshine. Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Good. Jack, are you with me? Um, uh, yes. Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Yep. Oh. Okay. Imagine if this Module was D2 my D2 first one. VR Manual game, though. For someone in my face like that, that would have been creepy. Oh. Oh, cool. I am Hera, Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. Okay. First, close your hand to form a fist. Got now it. extend your index finger. Doop. Good. To proceed. Use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Oh, yeah. I can actually see how this could be a good first VR check, game, though. And grab the glowing disc that just appeared. Instead of Half-Life Alex. Oh, hold on. There we go. Cool. And then what? I can throw it at you? When you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. Boop. Oh, oh, whoa. It's going to floaty. floaty. It's, it's missed. Press the hollow button to recall the disc. Okay. Please oh man, of course, this is space. Tiny oh, that's right, I was trying to gravity glove. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> that's Please not how that works. Boop. Man, that's a lot harder than it looks. Because it's, it's different physics. Calibration module complete. <gasps> I have a body. Stand by. Oh my gosh. Module M101. Basic motor functions. Okay, so they're giving me a good orientation. This is cool. Whoa. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. Oh, it's about time, yo. We've been trying to get out of this place. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, you have to do this because this is space. You can't walk, can you? 
You wouldn't walk? Oh man, whoa. Oh dude, this is oh man, this is like a little mini game that I was playing uh, sometime back. International Space Station. Whoa! Take your time and follow the guide. Good grief, whoa! Hey, whoa, okay, hold on. Yeah, this is exactly like the International Space Station mini game that I was playing. Um Oh my goodness gracious. I was playing that offline. Okay, so you just do this. Carefully climb up the slope to continue. Okay, this is a little strange. Oh goodness. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Actually, this probably would have been nauseating if I played this for my first VR game ever, so it's probably good that I already have my legs in a way. Did you do? Am I going this way? Did you say? Ah, hello! Come back! Whoa! <laughs> Maneuvering thrusters. Ah, yes, we need to maneuver this. Oh! Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Okay. Activate left thruster. Boop. Activate right thruster. Boop. And you just... Boop. Now please exit oh wait, the I gotta active, I have to activate this, and then what, Superman? Thrusters can be used in short bursts, or oh. held down for continuous usage. Okay. Well, like I just did. Please I'm a natural. Please press the hollow button Boom. near the oh. door to proceed. Ah! Come back! Oh gosh, hold on, stop! Oh, I gotta f I forget this is space, I can't just... Oh my, I'm about to knock down my pretty picture. To my continue. trophy. Touch and hold the hollow ah! button near the door. Hold on, let me physically walk this way. And I'm, <laughs> oh, this is disorienting when it, oh, whoop, whoop, get your body up here. You would think his body would stop him from going through the floor. Why is this happening? Let's see. Um, push, push. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Um, Do only... not grab any surfaces during this test. Okay, I will be good and test for you. Oh, can I? Oh, so wait, is it? Okay, I'm holding them down and it's just, oh Thruster gosh. calibration at 50%. Am I am I doing this okay? I, I I'm holding them down and it's just doing bursts. I suppose that's fine. Oh, go down here! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Let's go! Oh man, this is cool! Hey, I want to see I want to see space. I want to see space, please. Stop! <laughs> Communications. Module C one eleven. Communication. Man, I'm already getting really hot. I hope my AC kicks in real good, man. Whoa! This is weird every time this happens. I'm so close to something. When someone speaks to you, uh -huh. a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Dude, these hands hold look down so the dialogue cool. Button now. Okay, like that. Input oh. confirmed. Okay. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. First of all, let me just look at these hands. These hands look so good. And in this lighting, dude. They, uh, man, I'm having flashbacks of when I used to build model cars whenever I was younger. I don't know what's... It must be the blue color. That must be... It, it, and the shininess is just what's happening. Anyways, like this. What's this? Correct. Of course. Yeah. Vocal selection acknowledged. Yes. Please open the reply menu and select a response. Often, you will have a limited time to select a reply. Oh. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Oh. Do you understand? Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, how do How I long do I have to reply? Most often, you will have 10 seconds to reply, but this number may vary under special circumstances. Hmm. Now okay. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. So I have actual autonomy. So I just realized that was Jack talking. I thought that was him. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to navigate toward here. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. You can also initiate oh, conversations oh, oh. at points of interest. I keep wanting the world. to gravity glove stuff. Or stop! 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 Go this way! Go on my body! You use the dialogue button. She was you listening. then hold down the dialogue stop. button and select an option, just like a reply. Lady. Now start a conversation with the labor unit and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Do I gotta talk about it, dude? Where is my boundary? Man, I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, I can turn too. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Talk to him. Speak. Unit 42. What is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station uh, personnel. Sorry, sir. I'm floating towards you. <laughs> ah, stop. <laughs> I would not be a good astronaut. I'm sorry. Man, my guitars are over there. I got to be careful. Hey, speak. Speaking of guitars, you should check out Brandon Bir Birch Music. Brandon Birch Music Please is my music channel. Two points of interest in the room to continue. Uh, wait, you help me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait. How come? How come is this hand now? 
labor unit. Do you got to be facing him? Hey, boy, I'm going to get better at this navigation business. People are going to help me out in the comments. I know you are because y'all are awesome like that. Hey, whoa, the floor. Y'all got some good, clean floor here. Man, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm having so much fun just trying to do crap. <clears throat> okay, there's a point of interest. Oh, you got to be holding it. I don't know. A I figured it out. Fury transport. 148th scale. Be advised. While real fury transports scale. can be used to travel oh, to this is a ship. across the Kronos 2 oh station, my. I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Oh, no. okay. Dude, this is a whole freaking ship. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? I'm sure. Okay, fine. But, but look at this beautifulness. Dude, speaking of models, like I was telling you about car models and stuff, building those one. Oh, is it filling up? The bar it is. Uh oh, it says yes. Okay, hold on. I saw it was like, you're running out of time to talk. By. Module A, 131. Data scanner. Okay. Data scanner. Error. Calibration oh. program failure. Stand uh, by for reboot. Is that me? Is that my problem? Did I do that? No, it's just part of the script. That's just television. Subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving, and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. I'm right here. Olivia. Command what? Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Jack? <laughs> what happened? Uh, I was here the whole time, I guess. I don't know. The program My crashed. My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. Oh. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before it must have suspended the pod's release procedures in the event of activation pod failure titan protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod followed by a level three inspection of huh <laughs> she's like be quiet <laughs> uh that? pull that and low in your Listen, high chairs let you out conversation with command how much did you overhear um, not much. not much. I'm floating away, though. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. Whoa. Gosh. You're no longer coming with me to Ceres. Huh? What do you mean? The directors want you to take over my duties as commander of the station. This one? It'll just be you and the labor units. Aw. Well, so this is our last week together. Yeah. They just hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered what is this the possibility. Now? I'm not entirely sure what to say. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, that's how it goes. Orders are orders. Command must have their reasons. Doesn't necessarily mean they're good ones. Regardless, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do. Come on then, let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Yes, we going, we going. We are Superman in space. That's right. Bridge activation. Okay, well, we bridge. We, uh, we can go faster if we just push off. Whoa, not too far. Well, there's a big old activate button. Transitioning Ooh. to daytime cycle. Oh, look at the spaces. Dude. I love this. Hey, I'm floating too far. I'm really going to miss this part. Well, I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. Let me soak it in too. It is so beautiful. Look at man. Look at all the crafts up there, and then whatever those are floating around. So I guess we're not here by ourselves then. Evidently, was this Saturn? Saturn! It says Saturn! It is Saturn! Well, I'll be reporting! We do have an especially <laughs> striking view boy. of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. Huh? Do you happen to know what gives the planet its unique color? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to know these things? Because I'm a robot. I do not. Uh, really? I'm gonna say I don't, though. Oh, it was Almost too late! Like it's showing off. Well, you don't have much time. They said 10 seconds to respond. You don't have that much time at all, hardly. Well, they said as many as 10 seconds or something, didn't they? Hey, look, look at this. Oh, is this, what does this make the plant die? Oh, no, this always turns on. Now what are we supposed to do? Olivia, you seem upset. You seem upset. I guess. I don't know. You're getting way too good at reading human responses. You know that. <laughs> well, I have had a few years of practice. Yeah. It shows. 
Oh, cool. Jack. Look, look, we got this Those congratulations map. Are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. Oh, so, look. Congratulations, Captain Jack. Can I? Oh, I can't what grab I mean is, as an activated, I hold no official rank. Oh. So technically, I can't be promoting. Whoops. Right. Don't go this way. Well, ah! That's too bad. We're too close. <laughs> Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no doubt. I have no. Oh. What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What was I supposed to feel? What did I have? Uh oh. Oh man, what's going on? Something's over there. Something's Please happening. Please tell me you can see that. Yeah, I can. What, uh, unknown. Report unknown. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. Oh, wow, dude. What the... I, I'm Jack, trying to figure out what it could be. I believe so. I believe so. You were glitching out. I am. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll uh, investigate. The yeah, hollow table? Over there? Scan. Focus on the following coordinates. What's this damaged hull plate thing? This hull plate is from Liv's first accident on the station. Unless we experience 22 further incidents in the next week, she will end her tenure as captain with the fewest accidents in Kronos 2's history. There's so many things that I could interact with, but I don't want to miss out on the story that's happening. Ah! Uh, stop! Whoa, whoa, okay, well, hold on, this this opens and closes stuff. Well, that's cool. Balls are in here. Play! I don't think we should be playing, there's danger ab uh, uh, about... But we play. Ooh, nice. Is this an international space station? Kind of looks like one. Well, their equivalent of it, perhaps. That's cool. Blue bang. This is cool. Look at this. Oh, locked as access restricted. Probably here too. Yes. Well, I'm make. I'm gonna be the captain. You're gonna have to give me some accesses eventually, yo. Oh goodness, this is so weird. Ah. I gotta stop moving in real life. I'm gonna hit something. I was gonna say you can see his body. You can see the shadow. There it is. Let's go over to the hollow table and see what's up. So, even if you hold this down, it's just gonna keep doing short bursts. That's, I guess that's cool because you don't, you don't wanna run into things in space. This is a weird navigation thing, man. Okay, uh, let's see, do I, how do I, how do I activate? No, wait, hold on, there's something on this table to push. Oh, it's over there. Hold on, hold on! Eek, okay. Another, no, <clears throat> there is nothing to do on this. What if I hit it? Will it turn, will it turn on? Hera, status report. Oh, you just Multiple pushed that thing? One malfunctions detected. Really? It was that simple. And identify. Acknowledged, isolating. Awaiting input. I guess now we know Saturn we gotta touch data. diamonds. Orbital mining facility, designation Kronos 2. Central mining station. We're just going to keep going closer? Isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Whoa, oh, hey, Lockdown whoa. procedures in effect. <laughs> Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? I just pushed that, I guess. Ah, here we are. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. You got the ball. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this cube sat? Sure. I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Oh, oh I will. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Calibrate scanning tool. Okay. Play button. We's going somewhere. Module Data A, scanner. Hey, isn't this where this is where it glitched before? Scanner. Is it not? 
What do we say? Oh, yeah, we're going back. Yes, okay, we're going back to the tutorial places. I you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. There you go. And then... I'm just coming towards you. To the disc spawner at the back of the room. Disc spawner. Okay. This this is now activate your scanner. This is so the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Oh, okay. Cool. Hey, I'm floating away. Cop, stop. I keep wanting to do this. I forget that the boosters are on this side. All right, let's push the button before they get angry at me. Now aim oh, the scanner it's like at the a IO gun. On the disc spawner. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, I feel like an old person trying to scan a QR code. I'm doing it, ain't I? What's happening? I thought... After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. What? She's saying so many words. I don't know what she's talking about. Pull the data tab. What? What are you talking about? Oh! Whoa! Excellent. Use the button on top of your hand to deactivate the scanner now. Well, I don't want to drop this data tab thing. Whoop, I I'm actually touching my real hand. That ain't doing nothing. Can I just let it go? <gasps> oh, it stops and it goes. Oh, it's fine. Falling with me. Sorry. Shh. Good. All right. To complete this module, gather scan data on five Oh, this is like a floating tablet. Objects. I don't know when to time my commentary because I don't know when she's going to talk. Wait, well, hold on. Did you push this? Does it matter? Okay, now I'm going to use the other gun. The right gun, the left gun. What am I scanning? I scan you, lady? How do I know if I'm scanning something? Oh, you have to hold Four it down. Scans remaining. That's the problem. Okay. So what did I just scan? Three scans remaining. Oh, you're just practicing? Initiating <gasps> human sarcasm. <laughs> what? I thought we were friends, Echo One. Uh, okay. We'll scan this wall. One scan remaining. I'll scan my pod. For all I care. Watch me scan this. You, you must scan additional objects or materials look. to complete this calibration module. Look. I don't, okay, hold on. I thought I scanned things. Calibration module complete. Oh, I finally scanned stand by. another thing. I finally scanned something else. Perfect. Okay. So, oh, hi, I'm back. Fully calibrated. <laughs> Heads up. Hell? Okay. Boop. Ah, oh, gotcha. Now I gotta scan this thing, right? Cube sat scan. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that was the whole point of it. I'm supposed to scan stuff, so let's see. Well, we gotta turn a whole. Oh, there it is. Ah, where are you? Where is it? Where is the scanner? Oh, there it goes. Scan complete. Cool. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting right there? the CubeSat's ability to communicate oh, with oh, the rest of the sensor here. network. What was? This thing My scanner here. appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. Okay. All we have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Don't think so. Sounds like fun. Oh, oh apparently I want to. to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? Uh, crap. I don't know. Hera, status? Yeah, what's status the status? Update on your scan of the anomaly. Scan currently 3% Get off complete. It. Get off of me. 3%. Turn off. What's the problem? The sensor network is attempting to perform a full spectrum scan of an unknown entity. It might take a while. Lovely. Well, in the meantime, we've got three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. What do you say we get started on those repairs? Good idea. Okay. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Okay. Well, we just look around, give ourselves a tour. We gotta, hey, we're gonna be captain, so we gotta, we gotta know, we gotta figure out what we're doing in this place. I mean, heck, I just guess we just entertain ourselves. All right, what's over here? What's this? Daily checklist. Well, let's see what's going on with this. Oh, oh hold on. It says, wake up station. Wake up! Uh, run status report, get coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. See what went wrong? What? <laughs> Troubleshoot processing line, give up. What? Set fire to mainframe and leave. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness, I just, I just noticed snowflake cutouts here. How about that? She wants to feel at home. Ooh, I just noticed the, uh, the, 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 the floor. The floor is like, uh, well, when you get close to it, then it kind of gives it away, but it looks more flat. But back up here, it's like, yeah, you can tell it's supposed to be like cushy floor. Well, how long am I supposed to keep myself entertained, Olivia? Well, she's, oh, she's got a little diamond above her, so I think that means I'm supposed to. She's all set. Okay, well, 
I'm coming that way as fast as I can. These boosters, you need to you need to upgrade these for me before I become captain, you know. These things are not fast enough. I mean, maybe I just gotta push off places. Hey, whoa, oh, whoa, that, that place is open now. What is that? Door control? No, captain's, captain's quarters. Hey, this would be mine. Well, this is hers for now, I guess. Let me see. Well, I want to see, though. Can I see? What the crap? Is that a Sonicare toothbrush? What the heck? I got him. Whoa! Dude, I say Sonicare. It's probably a Philips. I don't know what this is. That ain't no Sonicare. I got a Sonicare. Report toothbrush. Based on the wear of this brush head, you should have replaced it several days ago. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Jack. <gasps> Would you like to create a dental care schedule for me while you're at it? <laughs> <laughs> Setting reminder for... Joking. <laughs> oh, man. Jack is just like me. He takes everything so literally. <laughs> it's so fun, man. I relate to Jack in so many ways now. This is the perfect character for me. Oh, you don't... Whoa, dude. Look at the... Man. You can see I mean, carriers and stuff. Wow. Hey. What are these things? Oh, seashells. Cool. Can I... Inter I can interact with these things, too. Oh, here we go. Examine I'm seashells. I'm still not certain how these are used. Jack, I don't think they're used for anything. I think they're just for looks. What's this? Be home in time for dinner. Oh, these are like their sticky notes. This is their this is their modern day sticky notes. That's so cool, dude. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, okay. I'm just, I'm looking at just like little things at a time, noticing all these little things. What is that? I, oh, I thought that was a camera for a second, but no, that's just <laughs> some floaty thing. Exercise equipment. Well, we got to keep ourselves in shape. Not me as a robot though, right? Oh. There will be no use for this equipment once the station is fully automated. Yes. My own motor functions do not atrophy. Why, yes, of course. Jack, do not touch. What exactly? I can't. Can I touch this? Is that the thing? Do you don't want me to touch it? Do you think you'll visit Earth now that you've been transferred to the oh. inner planets? Oh, I can't move at this. I thought about it. Oh. It'd be nice to finally see London. Hmm. London. Where your parents Ooh. are from. Hey, family. Family. Right. Family. Hey, your family. My father never could stop singing its praises. Is this? He never called it by name, though. It was just the city. It was that were the only one that had ever existed. Olivia and her family. She doesn't like to talk about this photo. Oh, she doesn't? What happened? What's going on? Is this... A, did she... People die? I don't know. I mean, who is who, who would be Olivia? Because they don't look... Peep. Maybe that's her when she was a girl, because that's probably... Not her. No, that can't be her. Well, I don't know. Because then again, she's got this little thing over over her head, so you don't know what she looks like, really. People's hair makes a big difference with how they appear, you know? So I don't know. That could be her. Plus, oh, wait. I can see better now. I still don't know who it is. But, dude, this is a little higher resolution now. I'm looking at it. Oh, this is cool, man. Dude, hey, what in the heck? He's floating. Well, of course, it's space. You can float. Oh, now you don't. Boop. Hey, another little light up. Thing. I better just... Man, I'm glad you can interact with all this stuff, just like with Half-Life Alex. This is cool, man. I'm sure eventually we'll come across a, a VR game where you don't... Hey! From Jack, this is me. Oh, cool! What did I give her? Uh, Galileo. What is, I want to know. These are all items I've given to live. Oh. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. Well, she must value them. That's wonderful. What is this? A shower? I mean, it looks like one. It, well, well, ain't no shower head. <laughs> oh, it's like a, a bed or something. What the? Well, I guess it has to be a bed because where else is the bed? That's weird. Oh, I guess it is a bed. What in the world? You sleep up inside. I'm a mummy in here. I'm just going to stay in here like this. I'm practicing to be sleeping as the captain. <laughs> you got a seat belt yourself in just to sleep. It looks like ratchet ratchet straps. I'll bet you it is. Oh my goodness. Let's no get that out of this way. Well, music player. Oh, do I want to listen to music in here? What kind of tunes you got? You got any heavy metal? Which um Ooh, let me see. Play. What? Stop. No. Oh wow, it's it's voice control. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, security protocol overrides. I don't know if those are important. Hey, whoa, we, there's the year. This is the uh, 2126. Oh, this is cool. I was wondering kind of when we were, and now we do know. Oh, what is that? Let's just grab this. Oh, there's two things. What? I thought this was part of it. What is this? Controller? What are we controlling? Did I just turn on a light? I, I think I'm imagining things. Whatever. Okay. Dude, when that happens... Listen. Dude. Dude, the sound in this. What happens if you throw the globe? 
Yeah, that's cool. I mean, dude, they did really good with the sound design. That's that's beautiful. I'm just gonna throw everything. Hey, I'm gonna be captain. I can do what I want in here. <laughs> no, but it ain't, it ain't my place yet. All right, we're going back to this. Hey, whoa. Hey, look. Man, I want these to be weapons and stuff. I want to have a Star Wars out here, you know? But I don't think that's what this is. It looks like a tool because it's like a little wrench thing. Whoa, this is kind of weird. Whoa. Every now and then, I'll feel a little bit like someone pulled the rug out from under me, but for the most part, I feel like I've got my VR Lady's legs. waiting in the activation bay. I should let her know when I'm ready to get to work. Yeah, um, we, well, we all work and no play. I feel like this is like a basketball goal in a way. I'm not a good throw, so I'm just gonna do... Oh, it does work. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what this is. That's where the score comes in, is this, evidently. Man, this was a movie poster or something? Complete the VR training platform. Echo Arena Disc. <laughs> would be epic. Oh, I mean, that would have been epic. That would have been fire flying through there. That's enough goofing off. I'm coming, Olivia. I'm coming coffee at critical know. levels. <laughs> ready to go. Ready when you are. Come on, then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Okay. Not the best way to start our last week. Don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Yeah. Oh, um... Or an anomaly. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, <gasps> Dude, you do the plants. It's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific Whoa, discovery. Oh, hold on. Well, hold on, stop. Oxygen garden status. Please don't leave me, please. This is, dude, cool. Man, I'm having some chills. This is kind of cool. Can I examine flora? Bioregeneration <laughs> systems in this sector are still functional. <laughs> These samples oh. are in no danger. <gasps> Duct tape. Hopefully the flora in the oxygen garden are also unharmed. Made in Canada. Well, that's cool. In case of robot insurrection. What? What? Oh man, I now I gotta know. Where's this coming from? Isn't is this thing? Is this thing? Can I open it? Oh no! It's locked! I'm insurrecting! Open this. Oh! What are these what are these mines or something? I want them to be weapons. They're probably nothing. It's, this is probably just all tools. <gasps> a lightsaber! <laughs> Dude, seriously? Can this be a lightsaber? Can you not let it... Please? Dude. I want it to be a lightsaber. And I'm throwing it away, I guess. Hey, wait. Hey, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Am I supposed to uh, scan him, too? CubeStat. Or CubeStat. What did he say? Oh, it's a satellite. This is... It's not a stat. It's a sat. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me just do this. Um, let's see. Do and then what? Seven oh two. Well, then what happens? An encrypted audio file. Oh, curious. Really? When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Oh, so it's it's just a small part of this whole situation. So I can't listen yet until I hey darts until I scan more. Evidently. Okay, cool. Well, this is neat. Dude, the lighting in here makes everything look so cool. Okay, now this one's a slidey. Okay, let's see what... Oh, what are these things? Geosystems? Hathor? Hathor? Hather? Oh, hey, what? Well, rocks. Oh, this is cool. I probably should not... I'm sorry. It's your rock collection, Olivia. I, I'm sorry. Go put this back. I'm sorry, I'm not a very good captain. Or pre-captain. I lost a few rocks, but that's okay. Uh, oh, some, there's more of those things, as always. I don't know why these are, why are these all over the place? I keep seeing them. This remote control fury transport was left on the station by one of Liv's predecessors. Oh, it's Liv a... always wanted to find another one so we could race them. It's it a seems toy. the Kronos 2 Grand Prix will never occur. She's waiting on me. But we're not gonna miss things, because if I miss stuff, y'all gonna yell at me. Oh, this is empty. There's more rocks. I'm not messing with those. We know what happens when I mess with rocks, they get lost. Whoa, whoa, that felt that felt weird for a second there. I was like, feel like I was about to lose my footing there for a minute. Okay, Olivia. We're going places. Whoa. Whoa, stop. Hey. Oh, what the warning. Unsecured cargo in the hold. Oh. Yeah. Is that bad? I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Yeah. Why? Okay, well, we might want to look into that. 
can't report it though. I don't understand this report thing. Because when I think of reporting, I think of it as like, I don't know, it, it makes it sound like I'm saying I'm telling on it or something. Any priority alerts? I guess it's a report from me. Station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Uh, Send the data to my arm computer. I'll have a look. Oh. My arm computer? Ooh. It's like, oh, like an iPhone. Let's see. Old school iPhone, I Take guess. Take a look at your objectives on your arm Ooh. computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Well, let's see. Oxygen garden, core contaminant, cargo bay, and cube set reactivation. I mean, I don't know. Heck, how about this one, the cube guys? That is probably important, right? Because they got the encryptedness. Oh, oh, okay, I was telling you. Oh, wow, okay, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a bunch. Okay, so what is this, like in wings or something? The wings of this place? Well, then again, these are important, I guess, because they got high priority. But they all say, wait until you coordinate with Liv, but as soon as I go back out, it's gone. Oh, I bet, okay, so it's not important. It's just saying you haven't looked at this yet. Okay. Oh, what are these things? I guess this is the my way of telling her what I want to do first. How about we just do one thing at a time? Oxygen garden. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. What's the point of that? Okay. Then follow me. Okay. Cool. Well, now I can see how she gets around. I need to. Wow. Oh, no. No. Nope. Maybe we're just gonna have to go the slow way. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen. Oh, this is different. Do we weren't in the oxygen garden? What now? The power's out. Some got knocked out. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're gonna have to cut through. Oh, cool. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gotta calibrate stuff. Considering She's... the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Calibrate reactive cutter. <laughs> Going back to tutorial mode, Module reactivate eight, cutter. 901. Reactive cutter. Oop. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to oh, the door. That's right. ahead. I do this. Get out of my high chair here. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. Ooh, okay. I've, I've, I either won. Highlighting cuttable surface. <gasps> Use the reactive cutter to Ooh. cut through the highlighted brackets. Ooh, sweetness. Can I do this one too? Can I do, can I do both? Oh man, what if I do this? My, if I'm double destructive, oh, I won't let you do it. Oh no. Oh, it's a, it's a one or the other. Oh man, it goes away. I Please wanted to like double it. Highlighted brackets to proceed. M woman, be just a second. Oh, you got to do all of this. Oh, okay. You got to just like get rid of it all. Okay, Cutter it's functionality test complete. Oh no, Lift wait, I'm not finished yet. To proceed. Well, so I guess in a way we Lift almost up the door to proceed to the next area. Lift up the door, nag, nag, nag. Okay, I guess we almost have a weapon in a way, but it's not really a weapon. It's just a tool. Highlighting cuttable surface. I bet you Use we don't have weapons. Use cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Okay. Anything? Does it matter? I'm just Once gonna... you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. The hollow button. Wait, what? Oh, okay. The hollow button? What's the hollow button? Oh, it's behind it. Calibration module complete. Duh. Please stand by. Cool. And then she said something about, Module yeah, H, helmet visor, the light thing. Helmet visor. I'm sure you this will all be important later. Your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. What now? Well, I, I am. Am I not? Oh, oh, wow. You have to touch the, please the headset mode and proceed to the room ahead. Oh, goodness. I was just trying to like believe I was touching it, but you've actually got to touch your visor. Doom like that. Whoa, whoops. That is how you exit. Don't double tap. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once oh. your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. Oh, whoa. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. <laughs> now we're going to play hide and seek. Okay. So yeah, that's really cool. I just have to be careful not to double tap because double tap takes me into pass through mode. Oh man, we're going to the darkness. Dude. Well, Please at least we know. To the next room. At least we know there's no danger. No head crabs or anything like that. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. So what was the, what was the thing on the right or the left? I mean, on the right, the left of the visor. This is, oh, there you Excellent. are. 
Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. There you calibration go. module complete. <laughs> nice. That was actually pretty cool. Cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Nice. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Okay. This is cool, man. This is like a cooler version of uh, Alien Isolation when you're cutting through stuff. Oh, oh crap. Oh, get that off of it. Oh, wait, hold on. It's not all the way cut, is it? That's what it is. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, get that out of there. There you go. Bloop. <laughs> That's kind of neat looking. Excellent. Oh, it's like a key or something. Let's get started. Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn my light on. Bloop. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> now look at this light. Whoa, we're going to the darkness. We need this soon. Oh, yes. I'm coming, Olivia. Oh, mm. um, I should probably... Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Uh, I actually Can am. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Sure. Affirmative. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Hey, wait, can I, can I fire in both ways to make myself stop? All right, let's see. Oh, something's lit up over here. This is where I'm, I'm going to. Well, this is, man, this is creepy. It's a good thing I'm a robot and stuff. Because that matters and things. What's that? Duct tape. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to maintenance this. Um, oh, I probably... Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to uh, cut through it, probably. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oopsie. Well, maybe not. That was a little overkill, I guess. Okay, well, that's fine. Hey, you know what? At least got the job done. And then what are we doing? What are we doing? Just going to touch a couple things. What are we doing? Oh, am I supposed to tell her? Um, I found it. Olivia. I've located the maintenance panel. It's over here. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. Okay. Oh, uh, I removed it for you. Oh, I gotta keep it on it. Come over. <laughs> That's funny. It came back on and it went back off. She's like, let me do that. Oh, I'm gonna shine my light in her face. It looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? Okay. Whew. Turn this light back on. Hey, some more foliage. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's the duct tape. If you need, if you need that, well, there's the junction area. I would assume which way we's going now. It'd be really cool is if I could like somehow lay down and do this. That'd be even more immersive. But then again, that might be a little uncomfortable physically. But still, be cool. What do I just permission to cut? I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. <laughs> deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Cool. Affirmative. Going hot. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. I love man. It's awesome. I love this. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I/O port. Mm, okay. Gotta keep remembering things. Oh, let's turn, get that out of the way. All right, let's see. Uh, scanner was this thing, right? Yep. Okay. Emergency That's so cool. power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready. Pull on something. Whoop. Oh, turn this. Oh, it's done. Um, something's turning on. I would assume. Wait, hold on. Uh, there's... Oh, hold on. Uh... I guess we're gonna keep that turned on, because this is lit up, and I think it's... I think I want power to this, or something. Okay. O2 balance cover. Okay, now we probably gotta cut something out. Yep, cut some off again. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Uh, crap. Um, I don't want to kill her. Let's see. Uh, what do I do? Oh, uh, dang. Okay, let's see. Is it tell me examine controls? Let's find out. These controls adjust the balance between oxygen output and CO2 capture. Uh, excellent, but then what more? Um, crap. I don't want to just start turning things. Guess we're gonna, though. Would you just, uh, how do you. Oh, there you just do this. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. I don't, I don't know how to grab this. Oh, there it is. Huh? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, crap. There's a little diagram here. Well, this is, is this supposed to be... Uh, let's see. 
What does this do? Oh, okay, I get it. That turns there. Is that good? Turn this up. I don't know what these are. Maybe that, you know, you got some treble, some mid-range, and then bass. That, that's probably a good mix right there. All right, and then we do this. Let's see. That and this. That's probably about it, right? Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. Cool. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? Hmm? How flattering. <laughs> Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound clinical. <laughs> Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the ring. I think I'll keep it, actually, to add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Is that unusual? Is that unusual? Depends who you ask. <sighs> Use the junction to select another system. There's going to be more to this game, my friend tells me. Now, I guess we'll go... How about we go over here? To cargo area? Is that what we're doing? Going this way? Ooh, we're going by ourselves. Olivia, um, bye. In case there's any monsters over here. <laughs> Hope you can put me back together. Oh, okay, I see what's up. I was, I was trying to figure out, well, where is this going to? Right here. The irrigation system is powered on. I should check the pressure levels. Pressure levels. Flow, flow control. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Turn. That's the alert so cool. must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. It's designed to seal the main reservoir in case of breach. You'll need to pump the handle to restore pressure to the plumbing. Okay. I can pump this handle to restore pressure to the irrigation system. I just over and over. Whoa. Try to stay still while I'm doing this. Oh, there it goes. Is that too much pressure? Did I do it? That was too much, wasn't it? I bet it was. <clears throat> I wasn't watching very closely. Yeah, that's it. There you go. I went in the red a second ago. Irrigation system within operating parameters. <laughs> that should help keep the plants healthy. <laughs> the plants healthy. I love her accent. <laughs> Airlock. Inoperable. Okay. We'll remember where that is, I guess, in case we need to get, get out of here or something. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Mm. Last one. Way the heck over there. Past Olivia. Oh, no, it's not. It's right in front of her. I'm sending power to the transformer. I should make sure the current's being converted. Okay. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan Oop. to confirm. Oh, listen. That sounds like rain. Oh, man, that's so good and relaxing. This is this game was already kind of relaxing, and now... Lovely. The coils have been damaged. Mm -mm. Hmm. Unlock them so we can get a closer look. Okay. Conversion coils Ooh. unlocked. Oh, they burn. As as we can still form one control. We should be able to get the transformer back online. Examine handle. This handle unlocks the transformer coils so I can realign the core. It's it's opened. Oh wait, hold on. There's a thing here I just noticed. <gasps> oh, okay, hold on. Oh, I just noticed this this screen here. I gotta be a lot more observant. Okay. Oh crap, don't turn off my light. I'm assuming it says circuit one. It needs to go right there, probably, right there. And then two no, I don't know. Okay, hold on. What? I don't understand this. Oh man, this is a puzzle and stuff. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. There's something about the blue things though. Oh, okay. That means they're supposed to be lined up somehow like this. I was reading online how this game does not have a manual save and that's kind of troubling because I don't know when it's supposed to save. Hey, look, wait, hold on. Look, there's one of those sat things. There you go, cube sat. Be I'm free. starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I lightsaber. find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. Well, how about you gather some information on how to solve this puzzle? I should set the junction to power a new system. Which is this. I mean, maybe you just... Maybe you just... Oh, you just line up circuit four? Power wherever. stabilized. Conversion process successful. Why was that Current so hard strong. to me? Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. I guess maybe that's because there was... Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. That's the only one it could have worked with? Subsystems within normal parameters. Yeah. Do you see the access panel near me? Yes. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark. Got it? Acknowledged. How do I get to I'll it? I'll await your command before throwing the breaker. 
Oh, the breaker's in here. Okay, I gotta get it in here. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Okay. I guess that whole thing. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll count us down. Yes, I'm ready. Command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen carbon operational. Environmental control systems restored. Cool. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Nice. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. <laughs> There's no wood to knock on around here. Well, I wonder if it'll auto-save right here. Well, there's still the ground fault in the cargo bay and the temperature spike in core containment. What's next on the agenda? Cargo bay. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> Sorry. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just... Don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. So if I stop right here, will will it save for me? Because like I said, there's no manual saves in this game. That ma makes me nervous. I mean, I guess worst case, I just have to play some stuff again. I would think that they would save in between objectives, though. Although some people on Reddit are saying, Cubes! After you scan a cube, let me try scanning a cube. There we go. But see, there's no visual that I can see when it saves. So I'm going based off of gut, I hope. But whether it saved my progress where I think it did or not, that's a great place to stop. I've had a lot of fun so far playing this much more relaxing game, Lone Echo, and I look forward to more. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. These feel like these should be weapons and stuff, but this is not Space Wars, so we gotta... Gotta remember that. I don't know what this is for, though. Dude, this texture, though, looks so freaking good, though. And this is what, a 2017 game? Dude, look at it.